Hey guys, and welcome back to the fans perspective. And yes, that is right. Another game, another match day, another match day vlog. That is the fifth match day vlog in 10 days. Today we are back at Ashton Gate to watch Bristol City versus Luton Town. They wouldn't expect it at the start of the season. It's pretty much a relegation zone match. 21st versus 23rd. Well, one point for uh, Bristol versus two points for Luton. Luton started off the season with two draws and just recently got lost. Bristol City, however, they did um, lose to Sunderland. There. They only just got their first point, 1-1, but they did actually win in midweek against Coventry, as you'd have seen on the channel. We've been to two Bristol games so far. This is the third. I'm really excited about this game because Luton have had the upper hand in previous uh, games against them. But I'm putting my money on Andy Vyman getting a couple more goals. And I'm seeing a lot of you guys predicting a Bristol City win. As you see here, a lot of people think Bristol City gets to score some goals. 3-1, 3-0, etc. I'm confident. You guys are confident. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into Ashton Gate. All right, so as you can see, we're in Ashton Gate now. We're just looking at the bookies odds. It's pretty even, about 1.5, 1.7 to 1 for both sides. And for a draw, it's 23 to 10. So, like I said, the bookies think it's most likely a draw. You guys think Bristol City are most likely to win. I think Bristol City are going to win. I want Andy Vyman to get a couple goals. On the lines of Andy Vyman, he's in the start on 11, as well as a few familiar names. Here are the lineups. Now, about just over, just under an hour, sorry, for kickoff. Let's get into the ground. Yeah, two hours. And when we've had the ball, we've pressed immensly. Even when we misplaced pass, we're always there for the second ball. The tackles have been amazing. And yeah, like I said, it's been the best ball state performance I've definitely ever seen. Hopefully we don't bottle it in the second half. 
I don't want to make any changes. The team is in perfect. Hanno Masengo, absolute shout out to you. Stringing some balls. Some brilliant play and finishing from Naki Wells as well. I don't really have anything to say. I just hope I see some more of that in the second half. Talking about second half, let's get into it. Jada Silva's looking like a prime Roberto Carlos tonight. 53 minutes played. He tries to slide it through. He's almost got his second goal at Ashton Gate. Oh, that's for the money. Andy Vyman. Oh, he slotted him away all season. Oh. Come on, boys. It's brilliant football nonetheless. Na, 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 na. I'll give Jane Silver a free kick, he's curling it in from about 95 yards at this rate. Still 20, 25 minutes left to play. Luton obviously now have the man advantage, they have the momentum advantage, they have a free kick in our half, anything can happen. And... Oh, now they wait fans woke up as well. Terrible referee decision. It's going to be one-sided football, but you know it's great play from Luton. He skied it, and that's well deserved. Two 0 73 minutes played. Is it guys, as you can tell, the atmosphere is absolutely electric tonight. It's in complete contrast to pretty much every other Bristol City performance I've ever seen. Absolute heart, work great, effort, everything from the lads. The goals were well placed, well finished. The second one was a little bit of a tap in, but you know, you've got to be there to score them. Lewis had a few chances after the red card. The red card I'm not even going to mention. It was absolutely ridiculous. How he's been sent off. The Luton man's only got a yellow. You've got it on camera. Referee, what are you doing? The referee in the EFL is an absolute shambles. But nevertheless, Bristol City have themselves three points. Luton stay in the relegation zone, I believe. Bristol City get themselves up to four points. Pretty decent. Obviously, we move onwards and upwards from here. A decent goal for Naki Wells. And I don't really want to keep wasting too much of your time. 
as we have recorded this video, we are 23 subscribers. That's it, away from 2,000. Just months after we hit 1,000, it's a ridiculous goal, I never thought we'd hit it. So, if you haven't already, if you don't mind smashing the like button, it helps share the video around, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell, so whenever I upload a video, you know when a video goes live, you can be the first person to watch it. As well as that, if you have any questions or queries, please drop a comment down in the comment section. I'll try and answer every single one of them. As if score predictions, if I'm wrong, I will I got on screen. But from the TikTok, YouTube, and Twitter thing I posted, no one said 2 0. We had a lot of 3 0s, 3 1s, everything, but no one said 2 0. So no one gets a shout out this week. Make sure to comment on the next vlog. Make sure to comment on the next post I made to be in the next vlog. But without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have been awesome as always. Five games in 10 days. More vlogs coming soon. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.